Next question, question 29. Each of the six different faces of a cube has been coated with a different color. That is V, I, B, G, Y, and O. Following information is given. So, set of four statements are given. Question is, which is the color of the face opposite to the face colored with O? So, we need to find all the face colors. So, we'll just draw a random cube. So this is a cube. So now uh, in this cube, there are three uh, faces visible and three are invisible. So this is a face here. There's a face here on this side and on the bottom there is face. I will just mark this it with the arrow for confusion without uh, for uh, avoiding confusion. So let's randomly fill in the information given. Now it is given Y, O, B are adjust on adjacent faces. So since we haven't filled any uh, information yet, so we can randomly choose these three as the uh, given faces Y, O, B. So Y, O, B, we just randomly chose three adjacent faces and marked it Y, O, B. Now we will use uh, uh, other information. Uh, colors I, G and Y are on adjacent faces. So we have Y here. So the adjacent faces one uh, uh, we, uh, y has in total four adjacent faces and we already know that two adjacent faces are o and b so the other two adjacent sides are these arrow sides one on the uh, this side and one on this side so uh, we uh, we don't know whether which is i and which is g so we will mark it i slash g so either i is here and g is here or g is here and i is here so if that is the case then y i g becomes adjacent that is why we uh, wrote it like that next statement is color b g and y are on adjacent faces so the two adjacent faces to b and y are one is o another is this side this arrow side so it is given b g y are adjacent side so the only option is uh, here it has to be G. So here it has to be G. So B, G, Y become adjacent. Now since here it is G, this position become I. This position become I and automatically this position, the only uh, face left, which is V. So in the last statement is not needed but still it is given colors o v b are adjacent o v b are adjacent so from the figure we can understand o v b are adjacent so <coughs> uh, we have got all our faces now the question is which which is the color of the opposite which color of the face opposite to the face colored with o so this is o and the opposite face of o is g uh, this side that is this side one that is not visible which we already found it as g so correct answer is c g so and just uh, in case if you didn't understand what this figure is about like i will just mark uh, with transparent okay there is no space here sorry i'll just mark it over here uh, so sorry sorry This is how a cube looks right so here when i said the sides which are not visible i mean this side this this side and this side so these two sides are not visible in this picture so uh, in a cube this is the side i marked i and this is the side i marked g so since this side so if you mark it different color so 
this side is what we have o as o and the side opposite to this side is uh, this one which is g that is the answer so in case if you were not able to visually um, uh, see uh, visually um, uh, see a cube like this and draw a uh, draw a uh, draw a figure like this and um, visualize it as a cube as a 3d structure it will be very difficult so in in case if you are not able to do it just try to draw uh, a cubes figure uh, and visually try to visualize it as a 3d object and see what is opposite to one side and all that so i hope you understood so this is a solution to question 29 is uh, c g